In this series of videos, we are going to see how matrices and determinants can help us to solve a system of equations. So let's start from the easiest one, talking about two equations to unknowns. For example, the one on the left hand side you see x plus 2y equal to 7 and 3x minus y equal to 0. If we look at the coefficients of the equations, we have 1x, 2y, 3x and minus 1y. If we present it in a square matrix, it should be written as 1x, 2y, 3x, and minus 1y. In order to put these coefficients together with x and y, we can also put our column matrix x and y next to the square matrix. After that, each equation will give you a 7 and 0 respectively on the right-hand side. So we can write the column matrix 7, 0 to the right as well. This is the way how we turn, turn our two equations to a nonce in the matrix form. If you can't follow it quite well, then you can try to break down the matrix by the multiplication. So you multiply the first row and the column matrix, uh, which gives you x plus 2y. While on the, for the second one, you also multiply it as 3 minus 1 multiplied to xy which gives you 3x minus y in this column matrix. On the right-hand side, you still have 7, 0. By comparing the terms, that means now you can rewrite it as x plus 2y equals 7, 3x minus y equals 0, which is, which the, is original the original question. set of equations. Similarly, if we extend the idea into three equations, three unknowns, we can do the similar job by looking at the coefficient first, 1x, 1y, and 1ez, 1x minus 2y and 1ez, 1x, 3y, and minus 2ez. And then so they give you the square matrix 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 2, 1, 1, 3, and minus 2, respectively. Afterward, we are considering the three unknowns x, y, ez, which we will put in our column matrix next to the 3 by 3 square matrix. On the right-hand side, you've got the results of 302, so you have 302 on the right. So this is the way how we rewrite our three equations, three unknowns, into square, uh, into matrix form. After this, that, let's see how we can solve the equations by using matrix and determinants. If we call the matrix 1, 2, 3, minus 1 to be m, that means the question turns to m times xy equal to 7, 0. If m inverse exists, we can multiply m inverse on both sides. So that's why you have m inverse multiplied to m xy equal to m inverse of 7, 0. So you have to note that the effect of m inverse multiplied to m will give you the matrix i, which is the identity matrix. Or simply, you can say, ah, now on the left-hand side, we have only xy left behind. So in order to solve for the equation xy, then you need to know what is m inverse and multiply to 7, 0. So now the question turns to how you can find m inverse in your question. So let's recall the condition of having m inverse. m inverse exists in a certain conditions, which is, do you remember it? Yes, that's good. So it should be determinant, not equal to 0. A simple reason would be because m inverse will be equal to 1 over determinant of m multiply to the adjoints of m. So in order to make sure that m inverse exists and we can find the value, so determinant of m cannot be a zero or else it goes to an error. So now let's solve the question as follow. Um, we first find out determinant of m, that means we look at the determinant here, which is one, two, three, minus one. So it gives you minus one minus two times three, which is a negative seven. Well, for adjoints of m composes of two parts, the first part will be the transpose outside, while the other part will be the cofactor inside. If you forget the way how to find the cofactor, so please watch my last series of videos talking about matrix and determinants. Anyway, the result should be mass 1 and 1 here. So while these two positions carry a negative sign, and then the final result will be negative 3 and mass 2. Uh, afterward, we uh, consider the effect of adjoints, giving you uh, this is minus 1, minus 2, and then and, uh, minus 3 and 1. 
So as a result, m inverse will be given by 1 over negative 7 multiplied to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and 1 afterward. So it looks terrible, but anyway, so it's 1 over 7 multiplied to 1, 2, 3, and minus 1. Finally, consider the um, values of xy, which is equal to m inverse, that means 1 over 7, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, and I multiply to 7, 0. And for simplicity, 1 over 7 can be cancelled with 7, 0 first. And that's why you have 1, 2, 3, minus 1 multiplied to 1, 0. And finally, the results will be quite simple by multiplying horizontal and vertically, which gives you a 1. 3 minus 1 multiplied to uh, 1, 0, which is a 3. So that's why we finally get the answer x, y is equal to 1, 3. So this is briefly the way how we can use matrix and its inverse to solve the equations. It's definitely not a very good way to solve two equations to unknowns because in junior form, and then you have an easier way to do it, talking about a method of elimination or method of substitution. But if we extend the idea to three equations, three unknowns, or even more equations, more unknowns, then you will find that matrix will definitely be a very good way to solve the equations. Next, let's consider the case of three equations, three unknowns. So like in the case of two equations, two unknowns, we present the system of equation into a matrix form with the first one, the square matrix, we call it M. In order to find x, y, z, or we can say to solve the equations, then uh, we need to find the inverse of M and uh, multiply it to 3, 0, 2 in order to get the answer. So afterward, you will see that uh, it goes to a very tedious word to find out what is M inverse by using determinant at joint to consider the 3 by 3 matrix. Please stop the videos for a few minutes to obtain the answer. Alright, so hopefully you can obtain the answer of determinant, which is a 9, and also a joint of A will be this square matrix properly and correctly. It won't be an easy task, give yourself a big head. So afterward, in order to find x, y, z, so we followed by m inverse, that means 1 over 9 of the square matrix, we just obtain uh, as follow, multiply to 3, 0, 2, which is the column matrix or the answers of the three equations on the right hand side. So after simplification, you should obtain the answer of 1, 1, 1, which are the solutions of the equations. Finally, so hope you can grasp the idea of using the inverse of matrix to solve the equations, no matter it's 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 in the two cases.